She's one of the many who suffered at the hands of a disgraced neurosurgeon. I'm Jules Rose and I'm one of the victims of Samuel Jamel. It was under the lights of an operating theatre that her life changed in 2013. One of the many El Jamel performed botched operations on at Ninewells Hospital in Dundee, leaving some unable to walk. In Jules' case, he removed a tear gland instead of a brain tumour and tried to cover it up. You know, it lives with you every single day, from the moment you wake up to the moment you go back to sleep. I feel that he totally invaded my privacy. I was not given informed choice, and I still feel that I have been mentally raped. The Scottish Government has announced there will be a public inquiry. That's something you've been fighting for. It's now been 166 days since we've been waiting on a chair being appointed, and uh, time's moving on. Pipes and procession protesting that weight, carrying a coffin because as ministers dither, they die, say victims. Thought to be in the hundreds, they're demanding the new health secretary speed up the process. Karen gave up her nursing career because of the chronic pain El Jamel left her with. And everybody's going, oh, we hope to make progress. Hope isn't damn good enough anymore. So I'm, I'm hoping that we'll be able to have a chair in place in very short order. That's one of the first things that I asked for, as I said to Jules, when I took uh, office, was I asked for progress update on that. I believe that we're very close. A review into NHS Tayside already found concerns about El Jamel were not acted upon with the urgency they deserved, bosses allowing him to continue operating. The health board saying it apologises to former patients of the surgeon and remains committed to do whatever is required to support all independent processes which are being set up by Scottish Government to respond to patients' ongoing concerns. He was eventually suspended and is now thought to be working as a surgeon in Libya. It never leaves me the pain to know that he's still harming patients. Vulnerable people, innocent people, and um, there's nothing we can do about that. They know bringing El Jamel to justice here would be difficult. For them, the public inquiry is their best chance to know why action against him took so long as the surgeon continued to cut without care. Alan Jenkins, 5 News.